Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today is day five of my keto cut. I'm gonna take y'all along with me. Last night it snowed like nine and a half inches. So right now we're trying to figure out how in the heck we're actually going to even get to the ski mountain this morning. However, I'm kind of in a rush to get ready so that we can leave a little early and maybe catch the bus to get to the mountain if we have to do so. So let me check back in with y'all when I am ready. And so, makeup is done now, hair is done. Now it's time to go get some food, get some coffee, and get dressed for the day. Like I always do, I'm starting off my morning with a cup of coffee. Two servings of heavy cream, 30 milliliters. Perfect. And then a packet of equal for some sweetness. So there's been almost 10 inches of snow since yesterday afternoon. And I don't think you can see it, but it's still coming down in massive quantities. Like you can't even see our driveway. Like that's our driveway. Look at this. This is insane. Snow everywhere. Our car is covered. See, you can see the snow right here. Doesn't seem like it's stopping anytime soon, but it's like a freaking winter wonderland out here. Holy moly. I don't think this ice is even supported by anything. That's a little scary. I'm also out here in shorts because what else would you do when it's like 20 degrees outside? Of course he wears shorts. Short, 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 short. <laughs> but oh my gosh, it's just so pretty outside. I can't get over it. The winter wonderland that is outside right now. Oh, it's so pretty. But I have no idea how we're gonna get to the mountain because we slid yesterday. So, I just spent quite a bit of time outside taking pictures in the snow. I'll insert in a picture now. Yeah, I know. I don't know why I was outside in shorts and a t-shirt, but I figured it would make a good picture. Anyways, we need to leave in a couple minutes, and I forgot to eat. I'm going to see if there's anything I can shove in my face real quick so that I have a little bit of something in my stomach until we get to lunch later this afternoon. Let's see if we have anything. So, my breakfast of champions this morning is going to be these prosciutto roll-ups. So, it's thin-sized mozzarella rolled with prosciutto. Each of them has 300 calories, 20 grams of fat, and 26 grams of protein. I'm gonna eat two, and I mean that 40 grams of fat should make me full, especially since I've already had some coffee. And that is going to be my breakfast. One of these little shindigs, and then I'm going to throw on my shoes and we're heading out. It's pretty much a wide out outside though. We are headed out the door to go ski. I will check in with y'all, hopefully on the mountain, if the snow calms down a little bit and I can pull out my phone and get some pretty videos of the mountain. I'm excited and I will check in with y'all when I can. This is our driveway this morning. Look at how deep this snow is. You can't even see my feet. Holy moly. Michael is all ready for the snow today. There's dad. And it is a winter wonderland out hey, here. Hey Michael, put your gloves Holy on, please. Holy moly. We're sitting out here, waiting for the bus, hoping it'll be here soon, because this snow is not very fun. This snow is milk. The snow is so deep that you can't see your feet or most of your skis. <laughs> We're having a fun old time. <laughs> wow, this is like deep powder. But, you know, we're doing it. Our legs are burning though. Hello. 
We finished lunch and now it's time to hit the slopes again. Woo! On the chairlift. Say hello. <laughs> kind of scared I'm going to drop my phone. It's up in the air. Putting it away. Good morning. Today is day six of my keto cut and the second day of this vlog. Once we got off the mountain yesterday, I was just so exhausted that I just didn't pick up my camera. So, we're going to finish out my last day of skiing here in Colorado in day two of this vlog. And hopefully I will do my full day of eating today because I just totally forgot to film dinner last night. Anyways, I am up, I am Adam, I'm about to throw on all of my ski clothes and we are going to head up to the mountain for the last day of skiing. It should be a lot of fun. For breakfast this morning, I'm just going to eat a couple raspberries and a couple slices of cheese and salami. And that will hold me over until we go to lunch and I can get some food, but I'm kind of in a hurry this morning, so something quick and easy is what I'm going for. I am very prone to getting cold, so this is the amount of layers I'm putting on today. I have four layers I'm putting on up top, so there's that and a hoodie, and then of course I have to wear a St. Patrick's Day shirt. I have leggings, I have big ol' socks, and then I have my American jumpsuit. So, time to get dressed, time to shove all these layers on my body. Check out the beautiful views today in the mountains. Not a cloud in the sky. Say hi, Dad. Hi. <laughs> I am rocking my American ski suit today. Flag is flying. I don't think you can see it, but it's a good day on the mountain, our last ski day. So, we're taking full advantage of the nice snow that we are having. Yay! Check out this pretty view. We're at the top of the mountain. <laughs> hey guys, we are back from skiing for the day. My face is looking a little wind burnt, sun burnt, some sort of something right now in this lot, but oh well. On the way home, we went and got my brother dinner, and next door to where we got his dinner, they had a coffee shop that was advertising bulletproof coffee. And I was so excited. I've never seen it offered anywhere before. So it has coconut oil and heavy cream in it and sugar-free vanilla. So I am sipping on this, and I think we are going to get started on dinner soon. Look at mom just dragging her oxygen around cooking dinner for us. Thanks mom. <laughs> she had altitude sickness, but she's feeling better. We have some vegetables that we are going to roast for dinner. What do you put on them? So I put some salt and pepper and olive oil and red pepper flakes and Parmesan, some Parmesan cheese. Yum. Yes, we're going to roast these. I needed to use up all the vegetables that we bought, so I had picked up a um, chopped stir fry mix, and I had also had some leftover veggie tray veggies. So I chopped everything up. There's carrots and broccoli and beans, the little sugar snap peas. Um, I put some boiled eggs, some cheese, some mayonnaise, salt and pepper, and I'm telling y'all, this is a delicious salad. It's just Yum. whatever vegetables were in there, and we just chopped them up. Awesome. Look at mom go. <laughs> what is the appetizer? Appetizer is some Alaskan crab legs. Ooh, she's gonna boil these. We're gonna dip them in butter. What mm. a treat. They're mm. pre-cooked, but I went ahead and split them so they'd be easier for y'all to open. And then I'm just gonna boil them in some, some crab oil just to give them a little extra spice. Mom is sticking in the crab to start boiling. This is delicious once it's boiled, just dipped in butter. 
Yum. And low carb. Yep, low carb too. It's $11.99 a pound up here. We have our boiled crab, some garlic and herb, Kerrygold butter to dip it in. Dad's working on his. Look up and smile at the people, Daddy. Oh, so excited. <laughs> Yummy appetizer. You take your piece of crab meat and dip it in the garlic butter, and it's good to eat. So the first thing I'm doing is I bought some um, wild salmon fillets. And I've seasoned them with salt and pepper, and I'm cooking them in a little olive oil for six minutes. Then I'm going to flip them over, and I'll, I cooked them meat side down. I'll flip them over, and I'll cook them skin side down for two minutes, and I'll set them aside, and I'll show you what I'm doing next. I seasoned it with seasoned salt and pepper, and I kept, I cooked six minutes with the meat side down. Now I'm going to flip over and cook two more minutes with the skin side down. This is the salmon recipe we're cooking. It's Tuscan butter salmon. Yeah, modified with the ingredients we can find on the mountain. So, we are just following this recipe kind of loosely. The next step was just to transfer the salmon to a plate while I make the sauce. Turning the heat down a little bit, and I found this Kerrygold butter with garlic and herbs. It was sold by the stick at Kroger. I thought it was pretty cool. And I forgot to get garlic cloves, so it's going to take the place of the garlic in my recipe. So once I melt the butter, I'm going to add some cherry tomatoes that I had pre-chopped, cut in half. The recipe called for cloves of garlic, and I wish I had some, but there is a lot of garlic in this butter. So we're going to let the cherry tomatoes cook for a minute. She's going to add a little salt and pepper to the tomatoes. What's next? So the next thing we do, the tomatoes are starting to burst, so we're going to add fresh spinach. I'm going to go ahead and use just the whole bag, the spinach wilt. Baby spinach, just a bag of baby spinach. And now we're just going to let it cook down until it wilts, and then we will continue with the next step. Spinach is starting to wilt. Recipe called for Parmesan cheese once the spinach starts to wilt, so I raided um, the pizza box for all our leftover Parmesan cheese. So we're gonna use that, and then some of the heavy whipping cream we had for your coffee. So we're gonna stir that into the mixture. Let it make a nice sauce for the salmon. So recipe called for chopped herbs, and I was able to grab some fresh basil, so I'm just tearing it up and putting it in there, and I like the flavor of basil, so I used the whole little pack of um, organic basil that I found at the grocery store. The sauce has been simmering, so now you add your salmon Freezer. back into the sauce and let it cook for about another three minutes to get fully cooked and the sauce all baked into it. Mmm, that looks good. Yeah, that it does. does. That looks really good. Just pulled out the roasted vegetables. Almost forgot about them. But so they're a little well roasted. <laughs> I like mine well roasted, so I'm not complaining at all. Dinner is served thanks to mom, and it looks so good. Holy moly. Hey, so your girl right here is pooped. The last three days of skiing just made me flat out tired and a little sunburnt or something which is probably a bad thing even though i put on like sunscreen i still got a little bit of a sunburn which was not recommended it has been great to be up in the mountains but i am definitely ready to swap out this cold weather for some warm texas weather 
I don't do very well in the cold. I think my hypothyroidism just kind of makes it where I get cold super easily. It's always been like that. When I did meat judging and I had to be in like meat coolers, my friends could get away with like wearing a jacket all day and I wore like literally like seven layers. So I'm, I always just get cold super easy, but I still love it either way. I just layer up so I'm like a big puffy marshmallow and it's all good. <laughs> it has been fun to get out of town for a couple of days, come hang out with the family, and get in a good vacation. Tomorrow, we are headed back to Texas. Thankfully, me and my family have flights right at about the same time, so we're all going to ride to the airport together. I'm flying to Dallas, they are flying to Houston, and that is that. It was fun to cook with my mom this evening, and it was absolutely freaking delicious holy moly that salmon recipe i'm gonna try and link it down below because it was delicious holy moly we were surprised we thought it was like restaurant quality food anyways it has been a fun trip but i am excited to get home to my boys tomorrow so i hope you have enjoyed day five and six of this keto cut journey and I'm excited to get home and get back on top of my workouts and cardio and just getting some more stuff going. Anyways, thank you guys so, so much for watching. Please give it a big thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel down below and I will see y'all again real soon with another video. Bye guys. Mwah.